many wands? There's four in there. We have four. Yeah. Do you know? Who I that? see Snape. Yep. I think I see Luna. You do? Uh, I don't recognize the other two. The other two are Lupin's. Ah, and his wife Tonks. That's why I wouldn't know Tonks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. Ah, are you sure? Cor Corbin? Corbin. Corbin? Corbin. He's Corbin. I'm Brett. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. So juicy. Bang! Bang! Ugh. Today we're reacting to read this. That's a strange thing. Is yes. read this a song? Read the trailer. Uh, where? T M Krishna featuring Viku Vanyakram live at Afghan Church, Gatlin Plain. Uh, Tetakudi Harihara Vanyakram, also known as Viku Vanyakram, is a legendary Grammy Award-winning Indian percussionist, also known as the God of Gatam. He plays Carnatic music with the Gatam, an earthen pot. Oh yeah, we've seen that before, and I, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing the name of the instrument, and is credited with popularizing the Gatam. He's the first South Indian to win a Grammy Award. That's awesome. Cool. Very excited. We love this kind of stuff. Yes, indeedy. Uh, let me get my speakers working here. Here we go. Wow, wow. 
is chaputanam different slogans Yes, 
Saraswati Guru Pyo Nama Kata Upside down, sideways, and then brought back to where they were, and then turned upside so what, down what, again. What were you doing? So with that one, the other ones I couldn't even count with them. So he gave it a beginning count. It was a count of eight, and then a bump two, which is a syncopated. It's really a one. So it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a stutter. It's it's just. That's a syncopated one, two on a one. And I haven't the foggiest idea how they know what they're doing because that little break of the bop bop puts the downbeat in a different place every time. Mm. So the downbeat is the one, two, three, four. One, two, but if you add a Now they're syncopated, right? So with the right hand, I'm gonna do the double tap. So they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. So it's constantly changing itself based on a standard count. That little dot dot flips it so that the downbeat now is the upbeat and they're playing in between the downbeats and the upbeats. It's, that's one of the most complicated rhythmic things I've ever heard in my life. It sounds Without complicated question. to me and I definitely don't understand any of it. And how <laughs> do they make those uh, gotums? Is that what they're called? Um, gotums? How do they, how do they tune those things? Because yeah. those were in tune. It was bum, 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 which is one, three, five. It's a triad. I wonder if they're just, do they just come tuned? Like, do you make them? Yeah, they've got to be made and you buy them in tune. To, how often do you have to replace them? Once right. They... And and does playing them, did it slowly change the shape so that they're no longer in tune? Or are they just that hard that they never change their shape? Also, where did it originate? Did it just, they didn't have any other instruments so somebody started playing a pot? Right. I don't know. Like, that's what I would think. Like, 
like it came from like a, a tribe or somewhere that didn't have a lot of musical so they they had pots and they were like this can play and right evolved into and a, somebody figured out how to make sure that it was in tune so that you could hear it and it matched the skin on the the tabla it's incredible yeah. I, the the rhythmic complexity uh that everybody was doing but especially him is just utterly mind-boggling yeah that was that was insane <laughs> <laughs> so let us know more from uh, this gentleman and any other classic instrument stuff that we should watch and react to. Uh, should we interview? <laughs> we, just, we do. What just, would we say? Well, like, we interviewed Zakir Hussein after horse. Yeah, I know, but that that was we could you know in some semblance we were probably so stupid we would have realized now what are we gonna say? I really feel I could say. So, does it hurt your fingers? I feel like that's what we asked Zakir. We probably did. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah. That was... You know when it's like Chris Farley yeah. doing his interviews with people. You know, remember that time? Remember that time when you 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 play that song and you hit the things and you played real hard? Cool. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris Farley. Let us know more on videos which you react to down below. Look, <laughs> <laughs>